Hello and welcome to the Fantasy Guild. Have you ever been fighting through the depths of a dungeon? Or maybe you're in a cave or in the middle of a forest? Well, all these kind of fights come out of nowhere when we're playing D&D and today I thought that we would create a bit of a mini boss that maybe some of you can use. I can recommend a model, we'll talk about some stats, where I get the inspiration. Today we're going to be looking at a troll. Trolls are rooted deep in any good fantasy world. We see them in Lord of the Rings, we see them in fairy tales, we see them in children's bedtime stories, but in the realm of D&D, they are scarily strong creatures. So with a wee bit of research, uh, I found a really good stat block uh, that you can feel free to use. Feel free to hit pause and uh, read over it, make a note of it, screenshot it yourself. Um, I know I will be making use of this in uh, upcoming events. You see, where I find this kind of stuff online is sometimes Google Images, Reddit. On Pinterest, they have a load of different images, which I'll talk about in a little minute. But on that, we can actually get a good look of stat blocks and different ideas and homebrew rules that other players or DMs have came up with. The thing we can so often forget about in these situations is we're part of such a wide community that sometimes it's good just to look elsewhere to see what inspiration or what creativity other people have made. So now that we have our stat block and our mind is kind of moving in that direction, now the next thing is, do we want a model? For me, in our campaigns that we play in, we try to have as many miniatures as we can. Sometimes they're just kind of favorite NPCs, of course it's the character models. But when it comes to this, when you're fighting something really significant, you want it to be a real challenge to the party. Sometimes it's nice just to have that big standout mini to represent the kind of mini boss that we're fighting. And maybe that mini boss has a few minions just dotted around the place. So today I found the perfect model and I'm going to get it printed up for us and that model is from Artisan Guild and it is the Black Razor Rock Troll. Stay tuned because I think there may be something on the horizon where I'll get to show you guys a little bit of the process of actually printing these minis. Uh, I'm in the middle of a kind of few conversations uh, with uh, one brand in particular so uh, yeah you'll maybe see some new content coming up very soon about 3D printing and models and everything that goes with it. But for now, we've got a rock troll, and what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna talk you through how I approach painting a model. So as you'll see in a second, this model is awesome. It's kind of got this ferocious stare down to it. So what I'll do is I'll take that after seeing the mini, and I will go online and I'll look at different art inspiration. So here, I'm gonna throw them up on the screen, just blah, 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 blah. Here, I've found some images of different types of trolls, rock trolls, cave trolls. And what I'll do is I'll kind of take bits that I like from each one, and I'll kind of amalgamate it into something in my head, and then I'll try and pick out a bit of a scheme and I'll apply that to the model. So without further ado, we've got our stat block, we've got some inspiration, so let's slap some color over that gray. Yeah, so to start off, we're gonna use this hog rot hide. The idea behind this is just to give it like a really kind of sickly color, but I've got a bit of a plan for it later on. Yeah, we're just gonna start uh, layering up. Uh, I'm not gonna to be too tidy about this. The idea is just to slap as much of this on as possible, kind of get it loosely on most of the surfaces. I'm not too worried about getting it deep into kind of big crevices uh, in the model. The head's the tricky part, but you just kind of slap it on. And there we go. That's pretty much most of the skin covered in this kind of sickly, yellowy, greeny kind of color. You can see that some of the crevices are left, but this will sort it out. This is the Bale Tan Green Shade. Give it a wee shake. But yeah, as we put it on, we're just going to layer it up. Uh, again, not a tidy job. You're just essentially trying to slap it on on top of that base coat. And there we have it. As you can see, the kind of yellowy colours have faded. And it's now this kind of kind of yucky green kind of color. But yeah, we're gonna go over this with Elysium Green. And essentially, sometimes the shade can leave these kind of blotchy areas where the paint pulls together. And the idea is this, is this is just bringing out those kind of lighter areas, but also we're covering over those blotches. Thank you. 
And there you go, you can see most of those kind of dark, dark green areas are covered up now. Next up we have some Dawnstone Grey. And as you've seen from like the inspirational art that I was looking at earlier, a lot of these trolls or cave trolls or rock trolls have actually kind of like scales or growths on them. So the idea behind this is to kind of give them like a rock layer. Next up is Fenris and Grey. The idea behind this is just to kind of break up this rock surface, give it a couple of different colours. Screamer's pink. And one of the things I loved about some of the art that I was looking at is some of the gemstones that have kind of grown in. So I've left a few rocks and kind of turned them into this gemstone. And who knows, maybe your party could loot these after, if they defeat the troll. Next up, we have Emperor's Children. It's a really nice pink, but what I'm gonna use is a really old brush. And I'm gonna try and dry brush some of this pink on top of that purple. And this will kind of give it more like a, a gemstone cut appearance. You can see the corners are really kind of coming out there. Next up, we have Igrax Earthshade. It's another shade. Um, Again, you want to be a wee bit looser with this than the green. This will kind of give those rocks a shiny appearance. As you can see there, it really kind of makes them pop a little bit more. So now that we've kind of got most of the base colours done, we're going to go back to the OG, the Hobgrot Hide. And we're going to pick out some of those scales along his fists and his legs. And then once that's done, we're going to give it another quick coat of the Agrax Earthshade. Next up we have a contrast paint, Flesh Terror's Red. I'm just going to use this to kind of uh, give the tongue a kind of base coat. I'm going to go back to the tongue later on, I don't think I recorded it, but I just give it another dry brush for that pink. Ushanti Bone, this is what I'm going to use for kind of all the bone areas on the troll. So this is going to be his tusks and his teeth. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give it a really nice coat, maybe two. And then I'm going to go over it with, again, that eyebrows or shade. It just helps it kind of shine a wee bit and fills in those darker crevices with some browns. Now for the fun part, the eyes. This is a really bright red. You can see it works really well, kind of contrasts against the green, but blends in with the purple. Final bit is his little skirt. I'm gonna go for this nice brown here. I've never used this before, so works pretty well. And finally, you gotta go black for the base the rims. I've just done the base with some greys and painted in the bits of like the wheel and the shield in the back. And finally, we're done. Here we are, yeah, all done, all finished. We got a kind of cool cinema cinematic uh, shot towards the end, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. I can't wait to use this guy in a campaign uh, very soon. Throw him in against some players, or maybe my DM will throw him against me. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's the first one on the channel, so please let me know what you thought in the comments below. What would you have done different? Would you have painted a different color scheme? Or most importantly, guys, to help me, what would you like to see next? Is there a certain creature? character, stat block that you would like to see fleshed out in the realm of D&D. &D. Um, there's tons of other content planned and I can't wait to put it out to you. So come along. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys this time next week. Thank you for watching the Fantasy Guild. Peace.